Hey everybody, it's uh, Dave from Sailing Cavu. Got another dinghy project for you. Last week, we put the tachometer and on our new uh, Mercury 15 horsepower. And uh, this week, we're gonna build a battery box. Now I've already added the uh, cable on this side. So what I've got here is a uh, 50 caliber ammo can. We've got a uh, panel switch. It's got a uh, charging outlet for USB and 12 volt. This little uh, cleat here is going to uh, hold the box securely uh, against one of the D-rings in my boat. And then we're gonna add a plug here for uh, lights that we're gonna add in the future. Uh, all these will be in the description. You can click on the link below. All right, so I've got all the holes drilled. Uh, this will be for the panel here. These are for my plugs coming out. Uh, I got one, uh, the battery going, battery plug for the uh, motor. This will be a uh, uh, future plug for some lights. Uh, the back I've got this is the clip that secures the can to the D-ring and this will be the fuse box uh, mounted on the inside so now I'm gonna uh, mock all this up I'll, I'll put everything in here show you how it fits and then we'll disassemble it again and send it to paint okay Patricia came down to help me show you the mock-up on the front is the panel you'll see the USB port the 12 volt, the switch that turns on the whole uh, panel, and then the voltmeter. On the top, there is a waterproof connection that the battery line will come out that goes to the engine. Next to it is a plug that we will use for the nav lights that we'll be doing in, in the future. On the back side is the stainless steel hook that will hook to the D-ring on the side of the boat to hold this in place uh, while we're in transit. Yeah. All right, and when you look inside, you can see there's room for the battery, the fuse box, and uh, we'll do all the wiring. So I'm gonna disassemble this and we will paint it, and then uh, we'll be back when we get it all wired up. Okay guys, I got it all finished and put together. Uh, I'm actually pretty damn happy with it. Got my plug here. Uh, this will plug into the uh, uh, electric start going to the uh, Mercury. And it's uh, hot, so it's going to be hot all the time. This plug right here is wired into this uh, box and uh, turning the switch on, then energizes everything else. So I turn the switch off and it de-energizes everything except for the engine start. So here you can see inside got a real nice neat setup. Uh, heat shrinked all the uh, wires uh, since we're going to be using this in a marine environment. Uh, got my fuse box in there. Little uh, pool noodle to hold everything in place so we don't get some sloshing around. I even was able to put a uh, document card here which uh, will hold our, uh, we have to have a registration card here in Texas for our boats. So really nice setup. I'm real happy with it. And uh, let me show you how it goes into the boat. And now it's time to show the battery box in action. I'm gonna hit this switch right here which uh, powers up the voltage, which is a uh, 12.6, right where we want to be. And it also powers up these two outlets in this outlet right here, which is for our future nav lights. Um, so now all I have to do is place this inside the dinghy 
hook it to the D-ring so it's nice and secure. Now all I have to do is take the cap off this plug, take the cap off that plug, and plug them together. Nice and tight. And that's that. All right, so to push start the Mercury Marine, it's very easy. Make sure you have water coming out the back. Put it in drive. Subscribe to our channel and never miss an episode. We'll have more dinghy adventures and modifications in addition to the outfitting of our beautiful 2021 Genoa 440 Cabo.